Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how to um, how I water marble. I'm going to show you the different options you have and um, the way that I think is easiest. So I have everything um, that you could use laid out right here and um, I'm just going to go through each of the things that I have and explain um, the best way you can use them and what they're for. So the first thing you need, the most important thing, is a cup of water and um, you can use a glass cup, you can use a plastic cup. I would stay away from foam cups because the nail polish melts them. I prefer to use a plastic cup. I don't know why I've used both and I just feel like the plastic cups work better for some reason. And the water inside is just for my sink. I use tap water. Bottle water, I feel like it doesn't spread easy. Everybody does it different. Some people say don't use tap water. Some people say don't use bottled water. Um, it's just whatever works for you. So tap water works for me. I, I turn the faucet on cold and I let it run for like 10 seconds. And I just fill my cup up almost to the top. Um, the more water in it, the less chance you have of when you stick your finger in bumping the bottom and ruining the design. Also, the wider the cup, the better too because if you're doing... Say you, you're making a design and you can do all of your nails. You don't want to hit the side. And also, when you're bringing your nails up, you don't want to bump the side either. So the bigger the um, cup, the better. So um, after you have your cup, you're going to want to need, you're going to need either tape, just, you know, regular scotch tape, or you can use lotion. Um, both ways work equally well. The Using the tape is a little bit easier to clean off. All you do is you take a piece of tape like this if I could get it off <laughs> and you just you put it let me turn my hand you put it you tuck it right under your nail it's not sticking you tuck it right under your nail and you just wrap it like this and then you do the same you just wrap it to the side getting as close to your nail as possible without touching your nail and then you take another piece of tape and you put it across like this. So when you dip it in, you let the um, design dry for a second, then you take a pair of scissors and you cut the back like this. Like that. And you just peel it off. With the lotion, the lotion works good, but it's a little bit, um, it takes a little bit longer to clean up. All you do is you get a, you know, a bunch of lotion on your finger and you outline your the nail that you're using to um, do the water marble on and you just put it on really thick you don't want to get it on your nail like I just did <laughs> and then you want to just go go far down because um, say by accident you dip your finger in really far you don't want to end up having plain nail polish on your finger and then you want to go behind and if you need to add more you can go right ahead and add more like this so when you dip your finger in the nail polish is going to stick to the lotion and then all you do is take like a cotton round you can take a cotton ball or a cotton round and you just take it and you wipe it off like this just like that and then you might need to depending on how fast you do it you might still need to take um, some nail polish remover and um, clean it up same with the tape you you always have a little space here so you might need um, some nail polish remover and to do that part I just take a uh, flat shader brush this is my mini um, body shop brush I have like 30 of these so it's really stiff and it's pretty flat so I just take it and I you know put um, nail polish remover on and I just go around my nail so that is how you prevent your nail from getting polish on it now in order to make the design you can use um, a couple of things this is, um, they're called orange sticks. This is actually like a skewer um, that you, you know, use for like kebabs and stuff. It's the same thing. It just need, you just need a really fine point to make the design. I don't use these. Um, I, I like my point to be like super, super thin. So I use a sewing needle. And with the sewing needle, it, you can make, you know, really nice, even thin lines. And then also another important thing is to have paper towels or a washcloth so after you make your line you just want to swipe it so you don't get a buildup of um, nail polish on here. So you make your design, swipe it, make a line, swipe it, swipe whatever. And then you clean it off and um, both of these work, you know, I think this works better only because it's um, pointier but they both work. 
And then after you uh, make the design and you dip your nail polish in, you're going to need something to take off the nail, take out the excess nail polish before you pull your finger up. You can use um, Q-tips. You can use an orange stick, or this is my thing that I do. I've been um, using this ever since I started. This is all nail polished on a Q-tip, and the nail polish sticks really well to this. So when I'm, you know, have my finger in there and I'm taking off all the nail polish. It sticks to this and it gets um, everything out really well. Some people, you know, throw away um, what they use every time. I just have been using this and it works for me. So that's how I get rid of the excess nail polish. Now, for the actual nail polish, um, it's really hard when you're first starting to do this to find polishes that work for you. Um, it's all about, like, you know, experimenting and trying out different brands and different colors. Sally Hansen nail polish works really well. Um, OPI works well. China Glaze, um, and also even with the all of these different brands, some of the polishes will not spread. Um, the ones that I have here, I'm going to do a tutorial after this, is just the Wet and Wild um, Wet sh uh, Wild Shine, and this spreads so nicely. Um, these nail polishes um, in drugstores are only a dollar. And if you guys have market baskets, they're only um, 69 cents. So, I mean, they're extremely cheap and they work so good. So, you just have to experiment with different polishes and experiment with the water, experiment with the cup, experiment with the different tools to make the design. It's all what works best for you. There's no right way, there's no wrong way. You just want to do it um, and, you know, do what you think works the best for you. So, whether it's lotion or it's tape, try out di um, both, see which one you like better. Try out a sewing needle and a um, wooden stick. See which one you like better. So I hope this was helpful to anybody um, who has never tried this before and wants to give it a try. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see any type of um, specific um, tutorial, and I will certainly do so. Also, anything else that you guys want me to film, let me know in the comments, and I will do my best to get those to you. So... Thank you for watching. I hope this helped you out, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.